guys, it's Misty, and I just wanted to share with you guys the picture frame, the altered picture frame I made for Terry. Um, we were in a swap together, and she was my partner. It was an altered picture frame swap that I hosted, and um, so this is what I did for her. You guys um, already saw the video of uh, what she sent to me, so um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I made for her. So, um, I started off with this Michaels frame, and it's just a wooden frame, sorry for the glare, and it's a, it's one dollar, um, it's a dollar frame at Michaels, and, um, this is what the back looks like, and it has a little peg, and you can put it in one of these holes for it to stand up, and, um, this is a really awesome deal, and it's a really nice thick wooden frame, it's really sturdy, it does not come with, like, any type of, um, glass or plexiglass or even plastic of any kind so that's something that you would have to do yourself but um, it's good without it too so this is really really cute and I had so much fun altering this that I can't wait to do the next um, do another frame swap so this is what I did for you Terry and this is what I came up with so you saw the before and here's the after. What I did is um, I first started by um, just painting a nice um, white coat of paint. And yes, I used white even though it looks cream. You can kind of see on the sides it's more white because I didn't crackle the very the sides right here. But um, there was a nice um, white coat that I painted the entire frame just using some um, white acrylic paint and then I tried this new um, crackle this one step crackle medium that um, Hope was telling me about and so I tried this and I'm um, I'm not too sure if I really like it because the crackles just weren't big enough and I think it might be because I just didn't use enough of the crackle um, medium but this is kind of the effect that it got you see you can see the little cracks and then I took some of my um, walnut stain um, distress ink and I inked up the whole thing and then I wiped everything off to leave it in the cracks and then it also left like some of these darker areas in which gave it this m much more um, aged and distressed look. Um, so it was really nice. And then, um, and then I used some of this really pretty trim and this is an ivory, it's a really pretty ivory pearl trim that I did the whole edge on the inside and then I um, really had a lot of fun doing these little flower bouquets I used a lot of my new uh, I Am Roses flowers and I'm so really really happy and so for the pink flowers um, those are the gardenias and I just love these and they are um, sprayed in, or actually I painted them with they are painted with the cotton candy pink starburst sprays by Lindy Stamp Gang and then to the two yellow flowers, which are just their um, the roses, they were painted with. This is out of their new set, Drink Me Silly, and this is a bit o bubbly, and it's just this really pretty yellow. And you can see that even though on the label it looks a little lighter than it was on the actual flower, so pretty though. Then the little blue um, mini rosette flowers, little roses, the mini roses, they are. They were painted with the Frosted Forget-Me-Not Starburst Spray, and can I tell you, this is my favorite one. Love this one. And um, I also have the Mica Powder, so like, a little tip though, if you're running out of one of these sprays, but you also have it the Mica Powder, I was probably at, um, at like way down here, and as you can see, I filled it up, um, at least twice as high. And all I did was I filled it up, and then I just added just a, a little bit more of um, some mica powders. And I mean just like maybe a teaspoon of mica powder in um, into the bottle. And then to get it to fill it back up. And and then um, and then I used some of the I Am Roses leaves, and these are the new leaves I got. They're a little bigger than the, the ones I normally use. And then some of their little um, semi-open roses the little rosebuds, and I painted those, I don't know if you can see the shimmer, but I painted those with my Perfect Pearl, um, Perfect Pearl's powder, and the color is Perfect Pearl. Um, it's just this little, really pretty, and it gives it like a, 
a really pearly look. It's really pretty. Then, um, and then these sprays right here, these are actually, um, I made these kind of sprays out of a big spray. And what it is, is it, I got it at Hobby Lobby, and it's just in the floral section. And, hold on one second. And it comes kind of like this. It comes in just like this big floral, like, pick. Um, it was at Hobby Lobby for $3.99, and I've used a ton of this, and I still have a ton on here. So, you know, I just clipped off little pieces, and then I glued them together to create this cute little spray on either side. And then I used a skeleton leaf in the back. Um, it was by Recollections, I think. And then um, a little brown leaf, and then a little skeleton leaf in the back right there. So that's what I did on that side. And then on this top part here... Um, I used, um, again, the Cotton Candy Pink, and then this one was the, um, the Edelweiss Moss, and I actually, um, used the Mica Powder because the Mica Powder was, um, is much darker than the actual spray. Normally I paint with my sprays, but, um, I just needed a darker green, so I, um, so I painted those with the, um, with the Edel Moss, and then again I went in with the Bit O' Bubbly on these cute little flowers here and these are all I am roses and then some more leaves and then these are some of the smaller leaves they are just slightly smaller than these ones and then these cute little rosebuds I mean these are tiny tiny little rosebuds guys they're so pretty and it's the first time I've used them and I'm really happy and then I just added um, a little bit of the Satan Pearl Bling and um, by Prima right here and here and then here and then I haven't put a picture in here only because I was um, really unsure of what picture to put in here. So on the back side of that chipboard, you can see that there is a photo. But when I put it on this side, it just looked a little busy to me. It did. But if you like it, Terry, you can just flip it around. But I also finished the back side. And I know, Terry, it looks like it's like maybe it's dirty or something, but it's not. That's the actual finish. And it just makes it really weathered and, you know, you know, vintage shabby chic, kind of old looking. And so it's completely crackled. And it's the crackle's not going to peel off because I had a problem. Like, a crackle started coming up. So I went ahead and I sealed it um, with Mod Podge. That way I didn't have that problem. But, um, so that's your frame. I'm so happy that it's done and I'm excited and I'm just really really excited for you to get this and I really like the way it came out so um so yes yeah, so there's your friend Terry um, I had so much fun swapping with you and um, thank you so much for the frame you sent me and all the extra goodies it was just beyond anything that anybody's ever done for me it was just such a nice package to get so um okay I'm gonna stop rambling now so you guys thanks so much for watching and tell me what you think of my frame and um, I'll definitely have some um, some of these swaps. I'll host more of these swaps on my site, Creating the Crafty Life. And um, there'll be some picture frame swaps coming up. So you guys, thanks so much for watching. Happy scrapping. Bye.